What is going on world? I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Welcome to 2019. I've been a little under the weather for like the past week and a half, but finally I'm starting to feel a little bit alive. But today we're here to talk about one of my favorite lenses of all time. It's the 85 millimeter 1.8 by Sony. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I use this for my photos and my videos. It's one of the lenses that I carry with me at all times. All right, so let's take a closer look at the 85 millimeter 1.8 by Sony. So this is one of my favorite lenses for portrait photography and for video, I love using this for B-roll. When you pull this out of the box, it does come with your lens hood. So this is not that heavy, it feels really nice. So before switching to Sony, I was a Nikon shooter and this button over here was something that I did not know about. You can program this for different modes. Um, you can actually program this to eye out of focus on my Sony a7 III and worry about just taking your pictures opposed to, you know, doing all this extra stuff. It's not that complicated, but it's there if you need it. All right, so for the 85 millimeter 1.8, it's gonna cost you roughly around $598, but we'll just round it up to 600 or you can opt out for the G Master version, which is 1.4, and I believe it's around 1800 bucks. To be completely honest with you guys, this lens is not bad at all. I think this lens is actually, it's almost perfect. Like I love, 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 love this lens. That's why it's one of my favorite lenses. If you don't care on spending the extra money and then gathering that extra little bit of aperture, then I mean, go for it. For the g master version but this one i mean the bokeh is not bad it performs really great so i'm going to show you guys some picture examples that i've taken with this ranging from landscape to portraits so you kind of get an idea of how this looks Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time guys, peace.